Hello Vibe Coders and Asian developers, this is Semi from Epify and I want to show you today how you can uh, install 5000 tools via the Epify MCP server straight into Visual Studio using a cool coding agent called Klein. So uh, for this demo, you can actually um, load those tools straight into Visual Studio and use them to create any kind of applications or agents that you need. Uh, it could be as diverse as sentiment analysis tools. So you need to scrape for, you know, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Uh, you can create a heat map analysis tool for Google Maps, for example. Uh, you can work on a travel website and you need to scrape, you know, booking.com, TripAdvisor, or you're doing some, you know, price comparison uh, application or a price comparison agent. So you can scrape everything from, you know, Amazon, Google Shopping, or uh, whatever e-commerce store you can think of. So. We have 5,000 tools, so there are really good chances that, you know, whatever tools that we have, it's there. And in the future, you can also uh, use the MCP, uh, Appify MCP Marketplace to load up even more sophisticated uh, tools via their servers there. So uh, we're super excited for this, so let me show you how you can do this. Uh, so first thing you need is to go to the Appify store, and if you have not uh, have a, a login yet, so go ahead and log in and go to the settings here and under API and integrations, you can find your tokens here. You can create a new token. I've already done that here. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and just copy and paste that. All right, uh, so uh, what you need to do, of course, is go to Klein and install that uh, on, the, on Visual Studio. Once you've done that, you can go to Visual Studio and you'll get something like this. Uh, you'll see here on the left pane, uh, the Klein icon. Uh, let me go ahead and close that. And what I really love about Klein is uh, two things. First of all, they have uh, visibility for every action that's done. So basically, you know exactly how many tokens you're consuming and exactly how much price that's costing you, uh, especially if you use them as an API provider. But, um, you know, you have, of course, you can use Anthropic or any other, you know, uh, API provider like Open uh, Router, uh, etc. So uh, you go to the MCP server tab here, right on the button. Uh, you, you have their marketplace and you can go ahead and look for Appify and you find it here there's a quick install you just click on that and it gets all the documentation it needs from github and basically installs uh, the server on your local machine okay uh, so off it goes so while it's doing that um, I will just go ahead and auto approve things here and I will show you uh, one cool feature about the Appify MCP server, and that is an, the ability to actually uh, load any tools at once, right? So it can discover tools already, but you can add an ability for it to actually load the tools directly without you having to load them. So uh, you can go to this tester MCP client, and under the JSON, you will find the actual value that you need to add. Um, to the prompt on Klein, which is enable adding actors equals true. So let's go back and see if it's almost done. Okay. Okay, so it's asking for my token. Uh, so let me go ahead and give it my token. I'm just gonna go off screen with this. Tokens are highly sensitive and we always recommend that you hide them. Uh, if it does get exposed, uh, you can go here to the settings again where you had your token and you can go ahead and just delete that token. All right, uh, so I've loaded my token and I think I can bring this back. Uh, one second, all right. So that it's finished with my token and now it's asking me uh, if it should look like uh, or to discover actors, which is a tool inside the server that discovers the actual actors. Uh, before that, I, I said that I would gonna add an, uh, this enable uh, tool, which basically allows you to load any uh, actor on the go, right? So it already has the discover tool, but what it doesn't have is in this enable tool. So let's go ahead and say, please add this the arg so I can load any tool on the go and that will actually allow you to auto load the tools all right mm -hmm. okay so it's updating the server file and 
that is pretty much it. So while it's doing that, let's think of a use case. So let's say I want to scrape Twitter, um, you know, Instagram, Facebook. So I'll, I want to find some options to scrape Twitter. Or I mean, let's maybe just do Instagram for now. Instagram, please find me some options for this and let me give me info on the pricing reviews okay All right, so now it's discovering uh, Instagram scrapers, a total of five. And goes ahead and loads uh, all the, you know, actors that are found in the Appify. So Instagram comment scraper, uh, Instagram post scraper, uh, Instagram scraper. And it has all the details here, uh, including, you know, the total runs, the things that um, total users, things that are, you know, critical for it to get an understanding of which actual uh, scraper to use, including the use case for each scraper, which includes the input, output, um, and other kind of readme information that it needs. Okay. So uh, it wants to get more uh, details of that, so that in, of the, the scrapers that it found. So that's what it's doing right now. Okay, great. So now it wants to add this uh, tool onto the server. All right, it wants to do a test, but let's, you know, let's uh, let's do a different test. Maybe let's try to scrape a popular, I don't know, Mr. Beast maybe. Everybody likes Mr. Beast. Uh, there we go. Let's scrape Mr. Beast. Uh, I just bought one of their chocolates and, and I have to say, he makes a hell of a chocolate. All right, so I want to scrape Mr. Beast Instagram. Yeah, let's do that. And off it goes to scrape Mr. Beast. Uh, you can see here that it's limiting the results to three. Um, obviously, you can change that, but it's a good way to test the scraper itself to see what kind of output you get. And once you do get the output, it actually is, is inside, you know, uh, the client agent, and you can use that to actually integrate directly into any application that you need. Uh, so if actually, if you go back to the Appify store, you can see here that it's running the uh, Instagram scraper. Uh, and if you go to the last run, you can see that it's actually, um, um, you know, finding um, Mr. Beast's Instagram and it will pop up soon with all the info that it needs uh, based on, you know, his profile. Ah, there's the chocolate. It's a good chocolate. Uh, all right, here we go. So we got uh, Mr. Beast, uh, and you can see Mr. Beast with Ronaldo. All right, that's cool. And all this information is now uh, going to be transported back into this, plus, um, you know, the logic that it needs. Okay. That's one thing about maybe scraping Instagram. Um, there's always, you know, a lot of uh, memory that's usually needed. Uh, but here it managed to actually extract, uh, you know, all the data from him, right? And of course, you can use all of this logic to actually, um, what I really like about when agents use MCP, they always find a way to recover. So, um, you know, if they, don't have a particular tool that works, they'll always find a way to actually complete that task. All right, so that is one small use case and we're super excited to see what kind of use cases you can think of. What I love is when you start to combine different actors together, uh, then you can see that logic and then you can take that logic and actually develop it into a web application or agent.